course, to strange and exotic countries. Ah, what utter sophistication. <laughs> oh, yes, I've changed men's lives, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm going to have you in that film. I'm going to make the sophisticated, blase woman of the world. Oh, well, you're still not going to make your film about us, are you? Well, yeah, sure, why not? Well, nothing dramatic has ever happened to us. So what? It doesn't doesn't have to be dramatic. Well, of course, there has to be some kind of drama. You can't have two people just walking around doing nothing. Well, what if they love each other? That's not enough. You you've got to have one of your characters undergo some sort of a change. Oh. Yeah. Like in the one act that I'm doing now, the girl decides to leave her lover in the end. Mm -hmm. See? You've got to have something like that. Mm. Yeah, I'll work it out. Oh, hey. Anyway, how's your play coming? Oh, it's all right. We still got two weeks of rehearsal. Well. Pete will get the actors in shape. He knows what he's doing. He's a pretty good director. Well, he's okay. Hey, do you remember uh, Charlie Dutz? Is that that guy you went to school with in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I got a letter from him just the other day. He's in the Army. He is? Yeah, they drafted him. Oh, no. <laughs> and the only thing I'm worried about is that he was born a month before I was, you know, and we're registered out of the same draft board back in Chicago. Oh, I sure hope they don't get me. You know, if you stay in school, they won't get you. Oh, no? And... Uh, I knew this guy that stayed in school till he was 27 and we never drafted him. You know, I have some friends in Europe that never got called just because they're in Paris. Besides, you really ought to go to Paris. You'd love it. Sure, what we do for money? Well, you've managed somehow. Oh, hey, look, I gotta get going. I told John I'd see him about 7 o'clock. We've, uh, we've gotta work out some scenes for the film. I'll see you as soon as we get through, about 9 o'clock, okay? Well, don't be late. Who, me? I'm never late. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. How's that thing coming? Mm, okay. Mine's really been giving me a lot of trouble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay in the film department. These art courses are too much for me. Looks like it's almost finished. Mm. Almost. But I'm getting kind of tired now. I think I'll go home. Oh, well, look, uh, I got a car in lot five right over here. You want me to give you a lift? Well, mine's in lot 12. Oh, well, uh, you know, I'll give you a lift up to there. It's a long walk to lot 12 from here. Okay, thank you. Good. Well, look, why don't we get going? There's no sense staying around here, and I'm sick of this place. Okay.
Hey, Marty, uh, have you seen Nikki? Oh, yeah. She just went upstairs. We beat her. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Thanks. something wrong? Oh, no, Ray, it's not that. I just need some time to think. Well, to think? Well, what's... what's there to think about? Well, a lot of things. Well, I, I don't understand you. What is it... what is it that you want? Well, I just want to be an individual. But I, I, I don't understand. Five minutes, Nikki. Well, I want people to respect me as an individual. Well... I want to be... Oh, I don't know, Ray. Just give me some time to think. Yeah, I know you, you said that, but... But how long? I don't know. A week, a month, a year even. I really don't know. Well, maybe... Maybe that's good in a way. I mean... I can feel that something's wrong. We don't... We don't talk anymore. We don't even make love anymore. It's more sex than love. What's, uh... What's going wrong, Nikki? I don't know. Just give me some time to think. Why not? I don't know. It's, uh, it's hard to say. Well, I was thinking about the last scene of your film. You know, maybe it would work better if the guy were more broken up about losing the girl. You know, the way it is now, his going into the army really isn't motivated. He says in the first scene that he doesn't even want to go in. And then in the last scene, he joins the army. It seems like he's just running away. Well, that's what he's doing. I mean, he does run away. But why does he run away to the army? Uh, I don't know, really. It's, uh, it's just an idea. I'm not, I'm not sure what the ending is going to be yet. Well, don't worry. You'll work it out. It'll be a good film. Uh, I hope so. Um, if you'd like to go out this weekend, I'll pay for it. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I got some money. Well, it's my turn, and besides, you need your money for the film. Mm. Well, thanks. Well, uh, what about Friday? I'm sorry, Ray, I'm busy. But doing what? I mean, I haven't seen you in three weeks, and... Uh, could and you now... hand me that canteen? Yeah, and, well, you're finished with the one X, uh, uh... Well, I know, but... Well, well, so what? What are you doing? Peter and I are going to see Banana Peel tonight. Let's go. 
Could you put that stuff down here, Ray? Well, you and Peter again? Oh, it's not like that. He's just being a friend. Nikki, hey. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Nikki, no visitors backstage. Oh, it's all right. It'll just be a minute. We're really swamped now. We've got a show in two days. But, Nikki, I love you. I can't hear you up here. Hey, Nikki, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Look, it, it can't go on like this. I don't have anything. Well, what about that Chinese girl? Oh, she's Japanese. And besides, she doesn't mean a thing to me. Look, I've got an art class with her, and I've seen her a couple of times. That's all. Hey, Nikki, give us a hand with these flats, will you? Okay. Sorry, Ray, I've got to run. But, Nikki, wait a minute. I'm sorry, Ray, I don't have... It's just, well, I don't know. I thought I was in love once, but 